Everybody, it's Tyler here at WV Rocks, checking out team number 5740 Trojanators coming here out of Pennsylvania. Help me speak more about this robot, by the way. I have JR and Aaron. And this robot here, double catapult. I love seeing these robots. We just saw them play a match and absolutely blown away uh, by their prowess there. Uh, completely uh, redone intake as well too with some cool features on it. So we'll talk more about that. Of course, a cool catapult and a great traversal climber. Let's learn more about this robot coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud CAD apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. So as I mentioned, let's start with your intake here. We are talking before the interview started and you guys made some changes to this uh, based during the regular season. So talk to me about uh, what the changes were and how did you come up with the current iteration you have now? Yeah, so originally we uh, took a little inspiration from, I believe it was Bomb Squad in 2012, had sure. a design similar to this. But we started with fully 3D printed uh, mechanism wheels here. And the issue was our 3D printer isn't great. It was good enough to get them out and rolling, but it wasn't great. So what we decided was we found out that this roller here actually gets the most compression. So we put purchased mechanism wheels here. Okay. And then 3D printed below it. And then obviously we just have normal compliant wheels that take it in. And then it's mechanism wheels spin it to either side. And then the full intake tilts in and drops into the catapult. So talk to me about the changes you made from the regular season coming here today to WV Rocks. Yeah, so originally in the regular season we had just shoulder bolts here that only ended about here and it was, we found a tendency for them to bend. We used high grade metal and it still bent. So we changed to a half inch hex shaft the whole way across. We also originally had a smaller bore pneumatic piston uh, to actuate it and we found out that that was not enough. So we put larger bores there. So I know we'll go to your catapults in a second. Something I want to ask you, uh, can we put the intake back down and check that out? So when the ball path comes through in here and drops into your catapults, it, this is just totally gravity fed into here, right? And then do you have like uh, uh, anything to try to get the balls to settle down more or anything like that? Yeah, so it comes up in here and then this holds them. It fully tilts back and drops them Oh, in. that's so really cool. this will hold them until we need it. So what we normally do, I normally do as operator is I'll pull them in and then it'll tilt back and I'll dump them and then I'll use this intake as kind of a guide so it yeah. doesn't shake around. And then we'll get up there, pull the intake out and then shoot. Oh, that's cool, I like that thought process. Other, a couple of our teams that, that have had catapults, if I remember correctly, they just kind of intake it in and just kind of jostle around. So I like yeah. that, your thought process of, uh, of doing that as well. Uh, you mentioned that you took inspiration from a 2012 uh, Bomb Squad. That's quite the throwback yeah. uh, for, for you. Like, Absolutely. What, what about that team? Like, What made you think of 2012 team number 16? Uh, to uh, model some of your intake over? Well, actually our uh, head mentor, he's been involved in FIRST for a while, so he knows a lot of the teams sure. and what they've uh, done through the years. So we now just tried to listen to him. He gave us some team recommendations teams, and we found that Bomb Squad was most in line with what we wanted to do. Yeah, it was a great, it was a great robot. I definitely remember it back then. So let's go to your catapults. I think one of the, the big stars uh, of your robot here. Love to hear about uh, one, what made you even decide to do catapults in the first place? What kind of testing did you do? Any iterations? And uh, I'd love to see just a dry fire of them too. So um, I think the main thing is, of course, yes, catapults, they are a very exotic shooting mechanism. We saw a lot of flywheels this year. Yes. Um, basically, a lot of our team members, we saw flywheel in 2021, we saw flywheel in 2020, and we're like, we're done with that. We don't want a flywheel anymore. So we decided we're going to go with catapults. First thought was we could shoot two balls at once. Second thought is it looks super cool. Sure. Are also, we we're also thinking is that it's going to be super accurate because instead of going around the field kind of shooting, we always park up on the fender. It gives us about 98% accuracy for all of our shots. That's really cool. Uh, can we see a dry fire and then let's talk about some of the composition of it too. So when you're uh, doing this there, do you shoot them both at the same time or are they varied a little bit? How does that work? So I think it really depends. Um, sometimes we'll end up with only one ball in our intake. We'd rather only use that amount of air for the one ball, so we'll singly shoot it. Usually we do double because the way that the air will flow through the rest of the robot, 
it'll be the most accurate if we do double. Makes now, sense in there. That was kind of our one thing that we learned in our whole testing process of this catapult. This actually started off as two square pieces of Lexan on two by fours. And we tested it, we got it two feet in the air. And then next test, we adjusted a few things four feet. Before we knew it, we were launching those balls 16 feet in the air effortlessly. One thing I want to ask you about, you meant you shoot right up to the hub is what you said on there. Uh, when you were looking at shooting positions area, what made you choose there? Because I think about uh, one of the other teams uh, that we interviewed with Double Catapults, the Lady Cans out of Texas, uh, and they shoot closer to the tarmat area. So for your team, why was shooting next to the hub a, a good strategy for you? Um, I think the first thing is accuracy. We can just, we don't have to set a waypoint. We know it's going to be exactly where we want it. The other thing is, that's exactly the thing is everybody else is in the tarmac. It's not a free zone to play. You're going sure. to get hit. If we get hit against the tarmac, it doesn't really mess up our shot. No, that makes a lot of sense on that. Uh, and then uh, lastly on this, uh, from a material choice, so obviously with a, a polycarb on there, uh, I mean, when your catapults are going, there's obviously a lot of force going to that. Uh, any considerations to when you looked at like material, uh, why did you go with polycarb or why was that the best strategy for you? Um, I think we went with polycarb because like you said, it's very light. Uh, it has a lot of flexibility, which with these pistons right here, it gives it a lot of give. Yeah. If we went with aluminum, it would probably shatter. That's fair. Let's wrap up on your robot, talking about your uh, climber uh, on here as well. Uh, like I said, just watching the match you guys had. You guys got a nice traversal climb out of that. So talk to me about the composition of it, and then if we can show a demo and kind of narrate what's happening for us. So I think our climber is kind of one of my favorite features of our robot sure. because it was the first thing done and the last thing finished. <laughs> so <right. laughs> we started our robot day one of the build season. This climber got done in six hours. But by the time that CAD actually went to machining, uh, it was testing down to 48 hours before our first competition. Wow. All so right. it was assembled, but skin of our teeth. Um, so this climber it has two hooks that hook back. This hook will go up in the middle. It'll cling on, pull these. This will rack back with the bar. And then this will shoot back, go up, and wrap around to the next. So we go from mid to traversal. Well, let's see that deploy and kind of narrate through each step of that for us. So here's where we'd start our climb, is we're going to go up, we rack it back and it will attach to the bar. From here, we pull up, the bar will come down, push these back, and it will sit under these hooks. That allows us to free our hook and bring it back. We'll bring it up again, attach it. We'll bring it down, repeat, and that's our traversal. What's your timing approximately right now? Um, our timing, we like to go at 30 seconds left in the match. The fastest we've done is 19 seconds. Awesome. Well, really cool to hear about your team, by the way. Thank you so much, Trojaneers, for telling us more about Royal. That's 5740 here uh, coming uh, at WV Rock. So can't wait to see your performance here, of course. I'm looking forward to features as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud CAD apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.